Aloha. I'm on here. I wanted to talk a little bit about hemp oil and neuropathy. I had uh, somebody contact me that uh, had interacted with one of the uh, dispensaries in Colorado, in Durango, where I was living. And this was back, they have changed the law in Colorado to make it so that you can't interact with a dispensary unless you have a commercial license. It's really it's kind of sad. It's made it so that it's basically big business, as usual, in medical marijuana in, in Colorado. If you want to be a commercial grower, you have to put in a, an application with $5,000. And if they find out if you haven't paid your taxes in the last 10 years or you have any felonies on your record, they will deny your application and keep the $5,000. So now, unless you got big bucks to play the game, you can't play with the uh, dispensaries. But back when you could, um, I had some of my hemp oil in one of the dispensaries. And it turned out this lady had come in, actually it was right when I had dropped off the hemp oil and I was finishing giving the lady some instructions on how to be able to dispense it and how to talk to patients when they came in. When this lady came in, and uh, started talking to her about cancer and I just said okay I'll talk to you later and I left. Well it wound up this very lady um, got some hemp oil from her and she was uh, visiting Colorado from Oklahoma and her kids had said hey mom you know you got cancer why don't you you know stop at one of these dispensaries and see if pot can give you any relief and so she stopped in at this dispensary and it just so happened that yeah, we crossed paths because um, I guess when she went back to Oklahoma with some of the hemp oil, um, I guess she was doing a lot of things and I guess she had neuropathy happening in her hand. It was a side effect of chemo or radiation, one of the two, maybe both. Um, and she uh, had, when she had gotten home, all of a sudden the neuropathy had gone, gone away and her doctor had asked her why you know, what are you doing to make this so that it goes away like this? And she said, well, I'm doing a lot of things. I don't know exactly what it is that that um, that's made it so that it's responding this way. But when she ran out of the hemp oil, it came, it went, came back right away. And so her doctor, she went to the, when next time she saw her doctor, she um, said, oh, I found out what it was. It's this hemp oil. And the doctor said, get some more of that stuff. I want to see if it goes away again. And so she contacted me, and I found somebody was going out her to you know out her way in Oklahoma. A friend of mine was driving that way, and so I, I gave him some and had him hook up with her when uh, when he got there. And so she had some more, and she called me up three days after she got it, and she said, you know, I, I asked her to stay in touch with me and let me know how it how it worked because she had told me it worked so well. On I didn't know, I, I had to look up what neuropathy was honestly. When you know, after she'd called me originally, like a lot of things, when people call me with things, I don't really know what it is, but I say I think hemp oil will work, and it always does. But anyway, so she wound up um, calling me up and saying, "Yeah, it's gone. It's completely gone." And her doctor was really impressed because, you know, I guess this is something that doesn't come and go real easily. I, I'm, I don't know for sure, but that's what the way the doctor responded. So, I believe her. So I just wanted to share that, that um, this lady had actually said that one of the reasons when she first called me that she hated having it um, manifest in her so much was because she played, I think she said clarinet in the church band. And when her neuropathy was in action, she could not participate. And when she had the hemp oil, she could. It was worked that well. It was completely gone. So another miracle of hemp oil. Just wanted to put it out there. Love to you all. Happy New Year. Ciao.